what's up guys it's Talha here today I'm going to share with you a real-time rendering plugin for Revit that allows you to create real-time architectural renderings and walkthroughs that can be viewed directly in a web browser and also on mobile devices and the walkthroughs can easily be shared with links and anyone with a web browser can open them and navigate the models without the need to install software or the plugin so without further ado let's get started so to download the plugin just go to shapespark.com click on pricing and here you can see the subscription plans they have for this plugin if you want you can you can download a 30 days free trial version of this so just click on start free trial just fill up this form and create your account I already have an account so I will just log in and once you log into your account you can go to download and here you have the download button just click on it and your download will start so I'll just close this because I have already downloaded and installed this plugin so let's close that and go to Revit so as you can see here I have created this basic project for this tutorial and to export the Revit model you can go to add-ins and here you have shape spark plugin just click on export and as you can see before exporting the model you need to make sure that you are in a 3d view so I will just go to 3d view and then let's click export again so we need to make sure that shape spark is running in the background so let's close that and let's open up the shape spark now just minimize this and let's try to export again and now we got this export to shape spark dialog and here you can see it's showing update an existing scene the reason why it's showing like this is because i have already uploaded this scene to shape spark before so let's just create a new one select create a new scene and i will just rename this test one and now click ok and the model is now start exporting you can see that here it will take a while depending on the size of your project so the model is now exported just close that and if you want you can close Revit but I will just keep it open for now just minimize that and open up the shape spark and here you can see we got these two projects this example project we got along with the plugin and here we have the project which we have just exported just click on it to open up the viewer and you can navigate around your project using WASD on your keyboard to know more controls of this plugin you can just click on the question mark here and it will show you the basic as well as the advanced controls of this plugin now to edit the project we need to close this viewer and click on edit here and it will open up the editor as well as we will get this message saying that right now the scene is at basic settings and for the realistic look we need to click on back button as well as we got the link to the written tutorial here you can just click on it and it will take you to the written tutorial on their website let's close this and close this as well and now first I will just set the camera now let's see what we got here in the bake menu we have the settings for the rendering as well as here you have the settings for the graphics card you can use whatever graphics card you want to use to render this project I will just leave it on Nvidia and here we have the bake button as well as preview now in the lights tab we'll find all the lights loaded into this scene you can either select the lights from this uh, list or you can just directly select them from the project like so and then it will give you more options you can edit the strength of the light and we got some other settings here as well now light probes we use in our scene to generate the reflections which I will show you in a moment and in the materials tab also you'll find all the materials loaded into this project uh, you can either select from this list and add, do the changes here or you can directly select the object from here 
and it will take you to that material and then you can do the changes and in the sky tab we can click on this button and load the hdri and the objects tab we can use to hide the components as well as we have some other settings here as well and here we got the settings for the camera and in the viewer tab we have the options to create the camera views now first let's uh, see the preview of this scene just go to back and click on preview and it will show you a draft rendering of this scene you can see right now this scene is too dark and we are not getting the exterior lighting here as well so let's apply the transparency to these curtains just close this preview and go to materials and then i will just move here and select the curtains and then we can adjust the opacity but right now you can see i cannot do any changes to this uh, to the settings here the reason why I could not do that is because right now this material is linked to the Revit material. So first we need to unlink that to be able to edit the material in ShapeSpark. So to unlink you can just click on this button here. Now we are able to do the changes here. You can see the changes here. Let's reduce that. Now move back the camera and see the preview again just click on bake and click preview now you can see it's looking a lot better we are getting the exterior lighting into the scene as well but you can see the sun is not visible here so let's edit the sun just close that and go to lights here and the first one we have the sun just click on it and then we can increase the strength of this as well as we can do the changes in the rotation here so let's try around 160 click save and see the preview again now you can see we got the sunlight here as well so once you set up the lighting in your scene you can just render the scene we can we can edit the materials even after rendering the scene so let's just click on bake to render the scene and you can see it started rendering so the rendering is now finished and it's looking a lot more realistic keep in mind i did this rendering at draft settings for the sake of this tutorial you can go for the higher render settings now i will share with you some tips about the materials how you can create some of the standard materials in the shape spark but before that let's do some changes to the lighting here again just go to camera and here you can adjust the exposure seems perfect now let's edit the materials go to materials tab first let's edit the fabric material select this and it will take us to that material first you need to unlink that from revit and let's load our own texture by clicking on this button I will select this texture for this sheet and we have applied that material to this sheet you have some more option to edit that just check this correction and it will give you more settings for this material let's just reduce the contrast perfect and now let's edit the floor here right now you can see there is no any reflection on this floor so just select that and to add the reflection you can just unlink the material first and then reduce the roughness but you can see uh, nothing has changed here the reason why reflection is not working because there is no any light probes loaded into this project so let's load a new one just go to light probes here first move to the center of your project and then click on this plus icon and if i move back i record this sphere here and this sphere will create the reflection on the objects you can see we can see the reflection on this uh, fabric material here which we don't want we will edit that in a moment and now we can see the reflection on this floor material here let's go back to materials and select the floor and you can adjust the reflection here to make the reflective material you need to change the roughness to zero like this and uh, 
to make it less reflective you can just increase the roughness here so we'll just leave it at around 0.1 now let's do the changes to this material because we don't want the reflection on the fabric material so let's select that and then first unlink the material and then increase the roughness and it's perfect you can see it's not reflective anymore let's do that with the carpet material as well let's select that unlink the material and load a, load our own material here and check the correction box and adjust the contrast now if i move here you can see we got the mirror but right now it's not looking like a mirror at all only the white material applied to the to this mirror here so to make it reflective you, you just need to select that and then unlink the roughness and make it zero and then unlink this metallic slider here and increase that to one and there you go we have created the mirror material let's edit this material as well let's select that and i will add some reflection to that just uncheck that and reduce the roughness perfect and you can use the same procedure and edit the materials in your scene so i have set up all the materials but now as you can see here we want to apply the emissive material to the to these light bulbs here so just select that and then here you have the option to add the emissive materials just click on it and we can add, edit the strength of this as well now i think we don't want this light in this scene so let's hide that go to lights and it's showing us this sphere just click on it and i will reduce the strength to zero but you can see nothing has changed here because uh, if you do any changes in the lighting in your scene you need to bake the scene again so you need to go back and bake i will do that later on now let's apply the emissive material to these lights here as well just select that first go to materials then select that check this emissive box and increase the strength let's add the metallic material to this light here first unlink and reduce the roughness to zero then unlink the metallic slider and increase that to one and we got the metal material now i will quickly change the wall material here as well now let's add some background here so for that you can go to sky and then click on this button and i will load up this hdri which i have downloaded from the internet and the background is now loaded here let's set the camera and adjust the rotation of this background seems perfect now let's uh, let's create the camera views so you can go to viewer and here you can see we can create three types of camera views so first i will create the walk view first just move back a bit and click on this plus icon to create the camera view and it will immediately show up here if you want you can rename it just call it view one and then click save now let's move the camera and create another view from this angle just click on this plus icon again let's call it view 2 and you can easily toggle between these two views using these buttons here now let's say you want to export this rendering to your computer you just need to press p on your keyboard and this take screenshot dialog will open you can just rename the image and you can set up the resolution of the image let's export this at 4k quality just click on ok and you got this link just open this up and you can see the rendering saved in the default windows pictures folder now let's go back to shapespark and create the top view 
just click on the plus icon here and I will rename it to top view click save now just take the camera above the roof using the Q key on your keyboard and then we can just use right click and rotate the scene like so and then let's adjust that a bit now let's update this camera view by clicking on set current button here and right now you can see this roof is blocking the scene so to hide this roof you need to go to objects and then select the roof and here it will give you the option to hide this view just check this box and it will expand and here we see all the camera views which we have created in this scene so we want to hide this roof in the top view so let's load the top view now let's hide the ceiling as well select that hide in view then add that to the top and we want to hide the lights as well select them and then hide in view in the top view let's select this slide as well and hide that now if I go back to any of these menus it will return back to the normal view but still we need to add this ceiling as well so we'll just go back to objects and you can see we have created this cool looking top view or the floor plan view of this scene and you can use the same method to create the orbit view if you want now I think we are done with creating the views let's export this scene and upload it to the internet first click save and then go back to the shapes part and here you have the button to upload it to the internet just click on it and it will start uploading to their server so once the project is uploaded you will get this link which you can share with your clients or whomever you want they can easily open this walkthrough in their desktop or on their smartphones so let's try this link just click on it and it will open up in a browser you need to click on play button and it will take a while to load this load the project and there you go our project is now loaded into this web browser we can even navigate around using the same controls and we can toggle between the camera views as well so this was a quick demo of this cool plugin it has some other cool features as well such as applying the video textures to the objects such as tv or fireplace and you can even provide the material options to the client so that's it for this video i suggest you to try out this plugin you can check out the pricing on their website or if you want you can start a free 30 day trial so that's it for this video i hope it was helpful to you so please make sure to like and share this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already don't forget to turn on the post notifications and yeah see you guys in the next video